we welcome you to our vigil, and those who have joined us, you are more than welcome. And if this is your first time, I'm Brother Sean, otherwise known as the Barefoot Franciscan Monk, and I'm a member of the Teo community of interspiritual Franciscans, a group of ordinary men and women who live the simple life from our monastery without walls, our own home. And we welcome you, and we thank you. We thank you for your presence. Gaia welcomes you, for she has great need for the children of God to come together in peace and embrace each other in love. So what we will do, I would like to invite you to light a candle and together we shall hold this candle to Gaia and to the Supreme, honoring our commitment to be prayer partners for peace. So let us say we light a light for global peace and interspiritual unity. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother, God Supreme who creates life, in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life, in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia who is the Earth Mother that nurtures the creation of all life, in the name of all faith traditions who are, our belov who are the beloved sons and daughters of the Supreme our brothers and sisters, we celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all life. Let us just relax. Let us kick off those shoes and allow Mother Earth to bless your sacred feet. And in your stillness, just be aware that you are loved. Be aware that you are respected, valued, acknowledged, nurtured, supported as the beloved of God, as a child of And as we relax now, we just come into the presence of love. And I would like to begin by playing this beautiful track from Shiananal. And just imagine the cosmic Christ speaking to your heart.
that your loving is a miracle. How deeply you're connected to my soul. Beautiful. Those words really resonate with my heart. There are times when I wished I heard those words many years ago as a young teenager growing up in Ireland before I entered a Catholic nursing monastery in 1966. I was a mere lad, 16 years old, but I never really loved myself. Why was that? Well, I was the eldest of nine in a Catholic family in Dublin in Ireland. And I guess there were expectations of me being the eldest of nine. And I never seemed to reach my father's approval in anything. I was never good enough. I wasn't the son he wanted to be able to take over the business of the pork butchers in Dublin. He considered me too weak, not clever. For as my brother younger than me got all my father's attention, because he appeared more masculine and macho than me, whereas I was kept at home, cooking, cleaning, scrubbing, ironing and washing from the age of 11, when my mum was very ill in hospital, and I had to leave school at 11. So I guess I grew up with a handicap, and that handicap stayed with me throughout my monastic life, and even throughout my nursing career of 38 years, that I was never good enough. And it's strange coming from me, but even as a young monk in a Catholic order, I would look up at the crucifix and say, where are you, God? I'm so lonely, and I feel so unloved. And I guess, Many of us have been affected by that. We carry a lot of baggage from childhood. And it's only since the last 12 years that I began to realize that God does love me and that he accepts me as I am. And I can now face my fear rather than run away from them. If you're in a place this evening where you feel utterly unloved, that's okay. But you can do something about it. You can actually take your power back by surrendering your heart to the Supreme and by inviting the Father, Mother, God to come into your life. Not like a born-again Bible-bashing Christian, but as an ordinary man or woman created by God who is loved by God. But the mind won't let us see that. The mind won't even let us think that because the mind really is the seedbed of the Antichrist. It downs us. We're not good enough. We'll never be good enough. But the moment you surrender your heart, something happens. You're not running away. You're not handing over the control of your life. You're actually taking responsibility and asking the divine who created you to empower you, self-heal, and take responsibility for your journey. Take responsibility for your feelings. Take responsibility of why we're so unloved or unhappy. The words of the song are true. How can anyone ever tell you, you are not beautiful? If God doesn't say that, or Gaia, then who is saying that to you? You need to bless
address those feelings and those negative thoughts and release them immediately to the light. The Father Mother God does not expect their children to be in bondage to fear. They ask of us that we will be happy, but many are not happy because they struggle from day to day instead of calling in the divine to assist them. And when you ask them why they don't, their answer is always the same. I'm not worthy. There are others more worthier than me. That can be perceived as spiritual arrogance. For every child of God is loved equally. God has no favorites. You and I are loved the same. Because I'm wearing a monastic habit and live the simple life of Franciscan spirituality, a life of prayer and penance, doesn't say that God loves me more than you. He probably has more love for the prostitute than he does for people like me. Who knows? Let us come to this table of love and let us name and shame and bless all negative thinking and thought patterns that alienates us from the love of God. Let us do it now. Let us call on the company of heaven. Let us call on our spiritual teachers to give us the strength to see what God sees in our life. For what we see is never good enough. So let us put on the mind of God. Let us see what God sees. And then let us stand back and praise the Father Mother God for creating such a beautiful presence as they have in you and me. Let us celebrate our birthing as a child of God. Let us be still now. Let us sense the peace and the love and the acceptance of God. Just relax and allow the love of our God touch you now, really touch you. The reason why so many complain to me about not having their prayers answered, it's because they don't make time to be still, to listen to wait, to wait on the Lord God, the Father, Mother God and Gaia to speak to their heart. They're so busy, fast tracking everything. And I guess we've become a society where our expectations are that we wanted yesterday and are not willing to wait patiently. We live in an instant consumer society where everything is instant, instant mash, potato, instant coffee, even instant sex. God's love is not an instant love. It's a continuous love. It's a respectful love. And if 
it's worth having, it's worth waiting for. So if you're in a place where there's a dark night, where there's dryness, aridity, don't fear. That will pass. That will pass. Let us ask the Cosmic Christ to speak to us. And as we sit comfortably, I'm going to share with you a channeled reflection from the Cosmic Christ. He says the search continues, for it is the journey of awakening, of remembering oneness. For I am the source from which all began. From beyond time I have called you to be here now for work that continues to unveil. Many have agreed that this would be so. Countless are my forces, and yet it would seem straightforward, uncomplicated. But with one exception, no matter what trials may be set, think only on this. They will not overcome. For life, death, and all encounters in between are in my keeping. Know that all is given for experience, learning, and understanding. All just is. So be determined to come with me, for all else leads only to sorrow. Ego may think it has the answers but you can afford to have pity. Allow it to have a decent rest and turn to the one who is the creator of all. I now give you my blessings. I send my army of angels to walk with you right now. They surround and encompass all that you are. You do not need to search or see. It is a sense of knowing. How joyous the day, how magnificent when more and more swell the band of the enlightened. Excuse me, you already count in these numbers. Look now to your heart, for it will be a reflection of love, of peace, of all that I am. And my word, and by my word, do all things come into being. How glorious the day, how magical the night. For in these hours, my love transcends all. No difficulties arise, no appointments with gloom. For this, these hours are to be joyous with me. There will be times of aloneness, but not despair. There will be many moments of delight and in rest you will see my face. And in these awareness of levels, hitherto unknown, and each will leave a memory, each will allow creation of wisdom. Separation ceases, oneness is attained and continues eternally. We give thanks to the Cosmic Christ for those powerful words. Let us sit in his presence now 
and let us invite him into our space. Let us ask him to touch us. But before that, let us ask him to speak a word to us, to each one gathered here, for we are a, a unique creation as well as a people set apart. And because we are unique, he will only speak to us individually. So allow him now speak to your heart. Stay with this feeling that we are loved, that we are truly loved. And as we look across our room, we see his face, and he's looking at us, he's inviting us. Come, my beloved, you whom my father, mother created in love, come to me. Allow me, place my healing hand on your heart, on your beautiful heart. Allow me set you free from all those self-worths and from all those painful memories that have raped your soul. Allow me touch you. Allow me bless every part of you. But more importantly, your mind and set it free from all the demons and all the painful memories. Allow me do this for you. The choice is ours. It is ours to make. I am thankful too that each day my God allows me cut away another strand, another layer of my own failings. So why not you, O oh beloved child of God, O oh beloved child of God, I would like to finish our session by playing one of Tina Turner's greatest, Beyond. It is so beautiful.
Nothing lasts forever. No one lives forever. The flower that fades and dies. Winter passes and spring comes. Embrace the cycle of life that is the greatest love. Go beyond fear. Go beyond fear. Beyond fear takes you into the place where love grows. When you refuse to follow the impulses of fear, anger, and revenge. Beyond means to feel yourself. Start every day singing like the birds. Singing takes you beyond, beyond, beyond. We need a repeated discipline, a genuine training to let go our old habits of mind and to find and sustain a new way of seeing. Go beyond the rights and the wrongs. Prayer clears the head and brings back peace to the soul. Go beyond to feel the oneness of the unity. Sing. Singing takes you beyond. 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 We are all the same. All the same. Looking to find our way back to the source. Peace of God. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet bonum. Om Shanti. Solo de Caritas. Peace. And I thank you for joining me for this special evening. And I pray with all my heart that you got something from it as I did. And I look forward to your company again soon. So take care and may your God go with you and experience the healing touch now of the Cosmic Christ. God bless.